Hello everyone, good afternoon. Welcome back to Moji Economics. My name is Oduwale Godwin. What shall I be talking about today? Shall I be talking about Introduction to National Income Accounting? Now, this is a part of economics that is simple, you know, and could become complex, you know, as the case may be. But um, I'm going to make sure that in this video that you, you guys understand what you need to understand as easily as possible. Although there are going to be more classes apart from this. So what is National Income Accounting? You see, National Income Accounting is just a measure of the aggregate economic performance of a country in a given period, usually a year. So that is what it's all about. And okay, we have a definition of the National Income Accounting, which is NIE. NIE is an acronym, of, acronym for it. National Income Accounting is an accounting framework for measuring the aggregate economic performance of a country at a given time. Now, there are three different approaches to measuring national income. Okay, number one, we have the outputs slash the value added approach. So it could be called the output approach, it could be called the value added approach. So it's the same thing. Number two, we have the income approach, and number three, we have the expenditure approach. You see, all of these approaches gives us three different perspectives at looking at the same thing. The output value add added approach is calculating the national income from the value of the final, the currently produced, uh, the currently produced final goods and services. The currently produced final goods and services. So that is what it is uh, looking at, it is trying to calculate what the national income is from the value of the currently produced final goods and services. So please take note of what I'm saying, currently produced final goods and services, and that simply means it does not include intermediate goods. Intermediate goods are the goods that are used up in the production of another good in a given year. Now, if, the, if what should have been an intermediate good is not used up in a given year, it is calculated as a final good on its own. So it has to be used up in a given year. For it to qualify as an intermediate good. And number two, which is the income approach. The income approach is looking at the income of everyone that produces the final goods and services in an economy at a given period of time. So the income of everyone that produces the final goods and services. They currently produce final goods and services. Okay, so they are incomes. Now, number three, we're talking about the expenditure approach. Now, the expenditure approach is looking at it, which is also the spending approach. It's looking at how we calculate how we arrive at the national income from the spendings of everyone on the output that have been produced in that economy. Now, there's something we need to note. The three approaches should be equal. They should be equal, and I will tell you why. Now, let us look at this marker, for example. Let us assume that I am, uh, I am the producer of this marker, and this is the only product that is produced in this economy right now. And you that are viewing this, you are the only consumer of this marker. Okay, so what does that mean? Now, the value of this marker is a hundred naira, a hundred naira. So that is the that is the output approach. Okay, the value that I'm placing on this marker is a hundred naira. If you are to buy it, you are going to buy it at that price, hundred naira, which is saying that the spending approach. Okay, the output approach is saying that the value of this marker is hundred naira. So if you are looking at national income accounting from the aspect of the value of the output, so this is the final produce, hundred naira, and you are spending a hundred naira to get it from me. So which is saying that you, as a final consumer, are spending a hundred naira, which is the value of the output. So you see that the output approach should give us the same answer as the spending approach. Now, whatever you spent on this, okay, the only that you spent on this represents my income, the income of the person that produces it. Now, of course, I am not going to be the only producer of this marker. Okay, so that hundred naira is going to represent the income of everyone's effort that went into the production of this final output. So that is why. So you see that now output, which is hundred naira. The value of the product is equal to what you are paying for it as a consumer, okay, which is your spending, the spending approach, and that is also equal to the income of every mass spec that went into the production of this market, which is still hundred naira. Okay, so unless there are of course the economy is not that simple, I'm just like citing an example for you to understand what we're talking about. Okay, so unless there are statistical discrepancies, you know, uh human errors, computational errors. Uh, data issues and so on and so forth will these approaches not be equal to one another but ordinarily it should be equal to one another okay i have an example here which is talking about two firms in an economy uh, apple lovers is one firm it produces apples and then we have the apple juice apple juice uh, is another firm that produces apple juice so now we have data on them wages wages of workers uh, okay wages uh, to workers all right taxes revenue from apple sales Apple to the public, Apple to Apple Juice. Then we have Apple Juice transactions in that particular year, wages to workers, uh, taxes, apples bought from Apple lovers, revenue from Apple Juice sales. 
Then the question is, we should calculate the national income using the three approaches showing that they are equal. We should calculate the national income using the three approaches showing that they are equal. Now first, looking at the output approach. Output approach, we're talking about the final output of these firms. Okay, now look at it. This is wages, so this is not output, this is not output. revenue from output sales, okay? Then we have output sold to the public. Of course, this output sold to the public represents the output that are directly consumed by uh, the public. Then we also have apple sold to apple juice. So in your own, uh, from what you've understood so far, which one should we record as the final uh, product? Your guess is as good as mine, which is the apple sold to the public. Because apple sold to apple juice represents an intermediate goods. Apple, the apple juice um, is another firm that uses apples bought from apple lockers to produce apple juice. All right, so we do not include this. We include only the apple sold to uh, the public, which is 10,000 uh, Naira. The unit is uh, Naira. Okay, let me just drop this one. That's why we have 10,000 right. Then we look at the transactions of apple juice. Uh, wages to workers, not that. Apples bought from apple, no. Revenues from apple sales. Okay, so we have revenue from apple juice sales. So since there is, since this, uh, there is no, there's no, there is no difference between um, who is buying the apple juice. So we just assume that apple juice sales are meant for the final consumer, so the final consumers are the ones that are consuming apple juice. So we only record forty thousand uh, naira for the value of the final product that apple juice is uh, producing. So at the end of the day, the apple juice gives us ten thousand naira, which is the value of apples that are sold to the public, and then forty thousand naira is the value of apple juice that are sold to the public. So both of them gives us fifty thousand naira. Now let's look at the expenditure approach. Of course, the expenditure approach is talking about the spending of the final goods and services, which is just straightforward. The expenditure approach is saying uh, there are two different spendings here. Apple sold to the public, so the public bought apples, and the apple sold to apple juice. Apple juice also bought apples. Okay, but well, which one is the final? Which one is the spending of the final product? It is this. They are the spending on apples by the public, and also the spending on apple juice by the public. So that is what represents the final uh, final spending okay and then so that is that is uh, very straightforward so we have ten thousand which is the spending plus forty thousand which is the spending of um final consumers of apple juice at the end of the day so that is fifty thousand right which is pretty much what we we're talking about when i was citing the example of a marker okay what i'm producing is ten thousand naira what i'm producing is hundred uh, naira which is the amount that i'm going to pay for it so it's as simple as that very straightforward now what is uh, using the income approach? The income approach might be a little bit funny, so we need to uh, we need to be careful with it. So income approach is going to be who are the players in this economy? Who are the players? We have of course the firm itself, the firms, the two firms. Okay, so we have those ones. Then we have uh, laborers. We have laborers and taxes. Taxes are paid to who? To the government. So we have the government. All right. Uh, we don't consider the public in uh, this uh, regard. So who are the ones making income from what they've produced? I was talking about this market the other time. So every stress, the sweat of every man that goes into this has to be paid for. Okay, so that means there needs to be an income, or incomes need to go to those who produce this market. So income is talking about the laborers' income, that is the income of the laborers of the two firms, plus so which is wages, wages. Okay, uh, laborers' income plus wages. Since we are talking about, we leave it to a compensation of employees, salaries, whatever other. Added like that plus company profits okay we do not say company's income of course company's income is uh, is bigger than the profits okay company's income is like the revenue but we do not say company's income because if you say company's income that means we are already doing something that we call a multiple counting there's multiple counts because inside the company's revenue is the income of the laborer okay inside the company's revenue is also the income of the government in form of tax that has to be separated uh, for the government. So if you if we just say company income instead of saying company profits, there's going to be double counting. That is, we say company's income, then we, we say we then we we add the wages of laborers again. That is already inside the company's income, and then we add the taxes, the income of the government again. That is already the company's income. So that is going to give us a bloated image of the economy. All right. So from there, laborers income we have the company profits plus government income, and government income is a tax, of course. So how do you calculate the laborers income? Wages paid to worker here is fifteen thousand naira plus wages of uh, apple juice workers ten thousand naira, okay, which is ten thousand naira plus we want to calculate what the company profits are now. So the company profits, what are the profits of apple lovers? Apple lovers, okay. So apple lovers company profits is going to be equal to 
35,000 naira revenue, that's 5,000 naira revenue, that's 5,000 naira revenue, minus all of its expenses, minus 15,000 that it pays to its workers, okay, then minus 5,000 naira that it pays in taxes. At the end of the day, that's 5,000 minus 15,000 minus 5,000 equals 15,000 naira. So 15,000 naira happens to be the company Apple, Apple Lovers uh, profit. Okay, so then we calculate the profit of Apple juice, of Apple juice. So that is equal to 40,000, which is revenue, okay? Uh, profits calculated as revenue minus expenses. So revenue 40,000 minus uh, it's bought apples from Apple Lovers. This company bought apples from Apple Lovers. So this is also an expense. Minus 25,000, then minus 10,000, which is paid to its workers, minus 2,000 that is paid in taxes. Okay, by the time we do all of those subtractions, what do we have? 40,000 minus 25, that's 15. 15 minus 10, that's 5. 5 minus 2, that is 3,000. So that the, the, the profits of Apple juice is going to be 3,000 for that particular year. So that is that about that. So the next thing we have to look for is the government income. The government income. So government income from the taxes is 5,000 plus 2,000. So 5,000 plus 2,000. We sum up everything and we are going to have 50,000 there again. So we see from this. We see from this example that all of the approaches are actually equal to one another. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications and share with your friends for them to understand national income accounts. We are going to be releasing more videos on national income accounting, so uh, watch out for that. Thank you.